it's Dominique. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel, Lunar Light Tarot. Today we're going to be talking all about how they viewed you then versus how they view you now, okay? And what this particular person has realized about you along the way. So I have three piles for you to choose from. Pile number one is going to be this rebel card with the green crystal. Pile number two is the angel with the pink crystal. And pile number three is goddess with the red crystal. All right, now while you're choosing, I'll let you know that I do have the subscriber bonus today, your OG reading for all my OGs out there. And this one's going to be all about channeled messages from your person, okay? What do they want to say to you right now? All right, and that'll be at the very end of the reading. I hope you had enough time to choose. Of course, we're gonna go ahead and get right into the main reading right now. All right, see you then. Hello, pal number one, and welcome to your reading. If you chose this rebel card or this green crystal, this is your pile. We're gonna go ahead and get into it, and we're going to start with some initials, some zodiac signs, and a few charms that are going to tell us about you or your person, okay? So this could be your initials, their initials, right? It could also be your or their zodiac signs and these charms might give us some insight already into how they could have felt about you in the past or how they feel about you now okay so let's go ahead and see what we got for you or pound number one you guys really seem to like these so you don't want to keep it going when it's good when it's good we want to keep it going <laughs> all right that's what i've got so far Let's go ahead and see what we got for your letters first, okay? We have O, M, T. Okay, already the name Tom or Thomas is coming through. Okay, N, another O, D, okay, R, I, X, hmm, tricks. Okay, this person could have played some tricks on you. This is this one's blank. Sorry, I put that one to the side. Q. Okay, I am seeing um, Dominique. Ah, <laughs> sorry, that's my name. <laughs> but I couldn't ignore it because I saw Dom and the Q E. Um, okay, W Z, and then another. E. Okay. I'm picking up on uh, a few names here. And even, okay, I'm kind of seeing uh, the state of Texas. You any guys, some of you guys could live in Texas or have lived in Texas. First person could be from Texas. Um, okay. This person could have been witty or you they find you to be witty. Okay. Hmm. I'm seeing a uh, Riz. Okay. This person feels like you have Riz or maybe they had a lot of Riz. Oh, it's basically just like flirting skills, okay? Um, hmm. What else am I seeing here? Um, not. This person could have made you feel anxious, like your stomach goes in knots occasionally. Okay, for zodiac signs, we have Virgo, Aquarius, Gemini, Leo, Pisces. Taurus, Sagittarius, twice, and then Aquarius twice, okay? And you got a few charms as well. I'm just going to explain them and then I'm going to, you know, put them back in the bag. But this person could feel like you're very unique with this beautiful star here. You're very unique. They could feel like you like to eat healthy with this apple here. They feel like you're into healthy living, healthy lifestyles. They also feel like you're very smart. You're very intelligent. Oh, with this owl, I feel like you're someone who's wise. All right, with these little blocks, it's, they kind of feel like you're climbing the ladder to success or you're making steady progress in some kind of field. They feel like you have a little bit of this outer world kind of energy with the Saturn here and again with the star, like you're coming across as very unique and different than they've experienced before, kind of out of this world sort of energy. And with the cherries here, they just find you to be like sexy, okay? 
and it could have felt like you had um, like a nice physique, um, especially like a nice bust, okay? Um, some other names, I'm hearing Zhao. Uh, winter, you could have met this person in the winter or interacted with them in winter because we literally have the word winter in the letters here. Rider, I'm seeing Rider in the car in the letters. Mini, Mo, Molly. I know that I know there's no L there, but I'm also hearing Maxine, Drea, Dimitri, Tracy, Tanya. Again, Tom or Tommy is coming through pretty heavily. Dan. Hmm. Xavier. Okay. Mary. Ron. Ronald. Okay. I think that's all I'm getting for now for the names and letters. So if none of that resonated, don't worry. We have a whole big reading to get into. So let's go ahead and look at the tarot cards that I already pulled. Now these ones are going to be how they viewed you in the past, okay? We're gonna start with the past and then we'll roll into how they view you now, all right? So what you got was the Page of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Page of Swords, and the Temperance. All right, in the past, this person saw that you were working towards a goal okay and they understood that you were on some sort of path but they underestimated how far along you were on that path is what i'm hearing okay they didn't take your endeavors very seriously with this page of pentacles they heard that you had maybe started um, in your career you had a good job or um, you had a passion project that you're doing some of you may have a business and they kind of just thought you were just starting out right you're just starting out on whatever you're doing it's not really stable yet it's not bringing you in a lot of prosperity that's what they were assuming about you when they in the past okay they felt like you came off you projected that you are a hard worker but they didn't really believe that about you with the eight of pentacles in reverse like the energy of being a hard worker is there they could see that you were selling yourself as a hard worker but they didn't believe that you were really very established on your path that you were really you know established in whatever this endeavor is okay and that you were really a hard worker. They felt like you were trying to make yourself look really good and like sell yourself, but you weren't really there already. You know what I mean? They kind of didn't believe that you had the sauce like that, <laughs> if that makes sense. And with the Page of Swords, they almost felt like you were trying to imitate like a culture, like hustle culture, grind culture, baddie culture. They felt like you were like a little monkey see monkey do. They felt like, Oh, this is what this person finds attractive. So this is what they're saying to me. Not necessarily what they're actually like, but what they recognize is attractive in their community. So they're projecting that. And they thought you were putting on a persona, essentially. Okay. They thought you were putting on a persona. In the past, um, they also looked at your Instagram or your social media. Like they could have liked to check out your social media. They wondered if you were like biting the style of other people, if you were coming up with your own ideas originally, or you were looking at other people and emulating what they had already done. Okay. That's, that's really big with this person. Like they didn't really believe that you had a lot of maybe stability and also authenticity to what you were doing. And they didn't believe, yeah, they just didn't believe you were as uh, established in your field, but they did think that you were very emotionally sound. That was one thing that kind of threw them off guard is that you didn't seem insecure. You seemed very calm within yourself. Like you, I hearing still waters run deep, okay? Still, even though they didn't totally believe that you were very stable, there's something about you that was very calming, something about you that was very alluring and it drew them in still. I'm looking at this like black swan 
that is on this temperance card. It's like you were unique and different. They did sense that. They didn't know if you were getting these qualities by emulating someone else who's that way, or you were genuinely like that. They didn't know if you were just feigning stability, you were feigning success, or you were genuinely like that. Okay, they felt like you put your best foot forward for sure with the four of wands. Okay, you came off as someone who is like fun to be around, great to have a parties. But again, like they didn't know if this was just a persona that you're putting on or this is really how you are. They felt like, is this going to fade with time, this energy that you have, um, this essence, or is this really who you are? So this was a case of someone who didn't that thought you were faking the funk for some reason they thought you were kind of like faking the energy that you were putting out there let's get one more card from the um, archetype deck that's where i got your leading rebel card and this is kind of how they see you overall um from the past to now is this rebel like you're you do things differently but let's go ahead and see how they th th viewed you back then okay how does this person view my pile number ones in the past Ooh, okay, we have um, Saboteur that came out here. I'm gonna take it. Highlights your fear of self-empowerment and the change it will bring to your life. And the shadow attribute is induces self-destructive behavior or the desire to undermine others. This is very interesting. This person saw you had a lot of potential, okay? They saw you have potential to either have a lot of self-empowerment or to like hold yourself back, okay? You would talk a lot, maybe, and I might not talk a lot, but you would at least allude to the projects that you were working on. And they didn't really know if you were, it kind of felt like they were waiting for the other shoe to drop. They were waiting for you to say something like, oh yeah, like I'm, I'm doing this, but I haven't really pursued it in a long time. Or, oh yeah, like I, um, you know, I got, you know, fired from my last job or something. I mean, sometimes that just happens, right? And it's not like a situation where you're sabotaging yourself or anything. But they were just waiting for like the negativity to show up, okay? That's what I'm getting. Like they kind of felt like there's no way this person is actually doing this good, right? They're definitely going to, like, it's not going to last. That's what they thought. Like they just felt like you were, you were overselling yourself. They didn't really believe it. Um, I'm also hearing like dreamer when I'm looking at the the letters here. I know we don't have the A, but I'm seeing dreamer. So this person could have thought you were a dreamer in the past. Okay, that your head was like a little bit up in the clouds. Um, they didn't totally believe in what you were doing. Okay, so let's continue on with how they saw you in the past. I'm gonna use my white and yellow deck and see what else comes up. How did they view you back then? How did they view you back then? Ooh, okay. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna take my time with you. I wanna hear you beg came out. Oh, interesting. This person could have been one who was moving really slowly in the connection and they literally wanted to, it almost felt like they wanted to, um, like make you beg in the connection for their attention, okay? In the past, they saw you as someone who they just wanted to be friends with benefits with, okay? It says just wants X. Hit it in Quinn, it, friends with benefits. So yeah, one track mind. This person, yeah, in the past, they, they just saw you as someone who they had a lot of dirty fantasies about. Look at that, yeah. They had a lot of dirty fantasies about you. This was like a very physical connection I'm getting. Okay. Oh yeah. Look at this also coming out. Would say or do anything. This person kind of felt like you were a little full of it. Like they didn't really believe that you were, um, that you were going places, if that makes sense. They didn't really believe that you were actually this leader. They felt like you would do anything to like make them look at you a certain way. Okay. Um, we also have, I fantasize about us being together. So in the past, this is a really, I'm getting a lot of uh, sexual energy here. So they would definitely fantasize about you in that way. They could have felt like you were a 10 because I am seeing 10 in the cards. Okay. I mean, the, the, in the letters. And I'm also seeing one. Okay. 10 and one. Um, there was something about like, they were very, they were very drawn to you though. They were very, very drawn to you. They wanted to see if you were about what you said, okay? 
They wanted to know if you were a doer or not just a dreamer, um, but they kind of wrote you off a little bit. And this is a confirmation that this person was watching your social media, even when you first started talking to them or in the past, they would watch your social media, but they kind of just felt like you were posing. Like you gave them uh, to them, they projected onto you. They felt like you could have been a bit of a poser. They didn't really believe that you were as prosperous as you put out there, okay? That's, that's what I keep getting, all right? Let's see more. How do they view you back then? How did this person view my pile number ones in the past? Look, we had the poverty in reverse. Yeah, this per I'm telling you, this person thought you were faking the funk. They thought, oh, they're not as put together as they seem. They don't have as much money as they put out there. They're secret, they're fake flexing, you know, are there, um, are there, is their jewelry even real? I just heard. Yeah, they feel like you were faking being this official person. They couldn't really tell if you were like legit or not. That's what I keep hearing. They couldn't tell if you were legit or not. They feel like you still had a, a, hard, a long way to go to get to your like happily ever after or to get to where you were saying that you already were at okay say for example like you told this person like oh yeah i'm doing really well in my career like you know i'm making good money for myself and i'm someone who's stable they're like Psh, like what's good money to you oh is that is that are your accessories even real like hmm seems like you still have a long way to go i don't know like they just didn't really believe that you were about that life okay because you also have thief okay they just felt like you were embellishing. That's what I'm getting. They felt like you were embellishing and not that you were like, not that, not that you were really in a thief energy, but they kind of felt like you were overdoing it. Like when you would talk about your lifestyle or something, they were like, okay, sure. Like, are you really in this sudden wealth? Like, I don't really believe it. They felt like if they were to hang out with you longer, they would see that you were faking the funk. This is the kind of energy of like someone who says like, oh yeah, like I drive a Porsche or whatever, uh, a Porsche, <laughs> showing how much I know about uh, Porsches. And then you catch them at the bus stop like later that week or something. And you're like, what happened to your Porsche? And they're like, uh, uh, you know what I mean? Like this is kind of what it's giving. Like they thought you were like tricking them. Okay. They felt like you were like faking the funk which is really, really, really interesting. Again, with like the, the tricks coming out, they feel like you were kind of, like you were, you were full of tricks, okay? Hmm, very interesting. All right, um, let's see if we can get anything else about how they viewed you in the past. How did this person view my pile number ones in the past? How did this person view the pile number one in the past? patience yeah they felt like you were still working and being patient to get to where you wanted to go but they also felt like you were someone who's very calm right you were very easy to be around with the rest of rejuvenation someone who's calm someone who's um easy to get along with okay i would definitely say so how do they view you in the past how do they view you in the past they did view you as someone who had a plan okay someone who had a plan they also felt like you would use the the fact that you have a plan and you have a calling to like usher in romance, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like people talk about um, how good their life is, whatever, and it makes them a better romantic catch. So yeah, they felt like it was almost a little bit of a plan. They're like, oh, they're just saying this to like make themselves seem more appealing, but is it really, really like that? So yeah, they didn't totally believe that you were as stable as you said that you were. So I'm gonna go ahead and just like clean this up and then we're gonna hop into how they view you now. All right, they get a lot more messages about how they view you now. Okay, I will see you in a second. Okay, my pal number ones, let's go ahead and see how this person is viewing you now. And we're gonna see what they've realized about you, okay? How is this person viewing my pal number ones now? Okay. We have the eight of wands. I'm gonna take that up right. The three of cups. How's this person viewing my pile number ones now? How's this person viewing my pile number ones now? We have the Knight of Pentacles. How's this person viewing my pile number ones now? 
Okay. Seven of Cups. And we're gonna get one more. How are they viewing them now? How's this person viewing them now? The Five of Wands in reverse with the Five of Pentacles. Ooh, okay. You may not be uh, speaking to this person at this time, or there could be some this energy of like separation or loss here, especially with the Five of Pentacles. They feel like they lost out on an opportunity with you. Ooh, yikes. And now they really are starting to see what they missed out on because underneath this, we have the star, all right? They're starting to see that that magnetizing energy that you have it's not just a one-off it's not just a facade that you put on you it's, it's really not on you it's actually in you okay this person um they are secretly missing you i i know that's what every tarot reader says but that's really what i'm getting um let's go ahead and see what i got for these cards here so um i heard right on target right on target with the eight of wands so now they're seeing that you're moving very quickly when it comes to your life and you're actually hitting a lot of your goals like um you can see with this dartboard and all of the the wands that are going towards the bullseye so now they see you as somebody who is genuinely executing on what you said that you were doing before, okay? They also see you as someone who is, again, very fun, fun-loving. Um, the Three of Cups did come out in reverse the first time. And I do feel like they're saying, you're not one to be played with, okay? This is, what this, this is what this person is realizing about you now, that you're not one to be played with, you're not the one or the two, and they should have believed you the first time when you were saying who you were because you were actually being authentic um, in the way that you were speaking, okay? Now, this person now feels like you have a lot of friends, you have a social life, even if that, you know, if you guys are my popular loners or whatever, or you're just my 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 lone wolves out there, they feel like you have friends. They, they feel like you have a social life and that you have plans, that you're busy, that you have things to do, and that you're really enjoying your time right now, that you're, you don't rely on them or their approval or their attention for entertainment, okay? They feel like you're busy hitting your goals. I heard too busy winning. Okay, they feel like you're too busy winning to really worry about them. Um, right now, they see you as somebody who is working steadily towards what you want with the Nine of Pentacles. They're actually kind of confused about you. They're confused about how they didn't see this before, how they didn't see you at a higher level previously, okay? And secretly, I feel like they're having this internal conflict about this this person if they're not in your life right now or they're you know you two are kind of in separation or you're taking a break right no contact or something like that or limited contact this person is going back and forth in their head about if they should approach you how they should approach you they feel like the roles have reversed like in the past they thought that you were more deceptive or that you're putting on a persona or a show and now they feel like you're the authentic one and they're the ones who are snaky they're the ones who are are going to get left behind because they weren't being genuine and authentic okay so now they're not really sure what to do this person could be receiving signs about you by the way is what i'm picking up on they could be receiving signs about you and thinking about you hmm they, they feel okay now they feel like your life is going better than they had expected like what they feel like you were actually being humble about what you said in the past because they feel like it's been one thing after another maybe they've seen you go through some kind of glow up as well they could have seen you go through some kind of glow up or they feel like you're going through a glow up right now and they're kind of watching you from afar still so let's get that new archetype card and let's see how they're viewing you now. Okay. For my pile number ones, how does that person view them now? How does that person view them now? Wow, we have Prince, romantic charm and potential for power. <gasps> yes, yes. The shadow attribute says using power for, for self arrangement. Wow, I've actually never heard of that word before. Um, I feel like that means like something about extravagance, right? Like just to look good. Okay, um, so now they're realizing that you're not someone who shows off 
air or you don't show off what you don't really have if that makes sense i heard it ain't tricking if you got it and guys speaking of being a trickster right we were talking all about tricks before look at this trickster in reverse at the bottom of the deck they're seeing that you weren't trying to pull the wool over their eyes that you genuinely have potential for power that you were genuinely a great catch like you didn't have to put on a show to make yourself seem like a catch like that's really who you were you're really a catch you really do have potential for power. You really are going places in your careers or your endeavors, okay? Wow. It's giving that royal vibe, you know what I mean? That is so interesting. That is so interesting. Okay, uh, let's continue now with my uh, white and yellow deck. And if you guys like the reading so far, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That way you can watch the OG reading. The OG reading is a subscriber bonus reading at the end. And it's going to be all about channeled messages from this person. So what do they want to say to you? Okay, we're going to find that out at the very end. All right. All right, let's see. So what do they, what do they think about you now? What does this person think about you now? Look, I see you're doing better without me. Ha! Oh my goodness. Yes, of course. But of course, that is so interesting. What does this person think about you now? What does this person think about you now? What does this person think about you now? We have, I get off to the thought of you. Whoo, my goodness. Yeah, so they're still be thinking about you in that way. On the back, it says, attractive, carefree, unbothered, detached, and self-love. I'm gonna keep it on this side. Yeah, they just feel like you're you're unbothered and you're detached from whatever, you know, this like mess was that you kind of had with them, okay? What else? What do they think about you now? Look, I admire your work ethic. Oh my God, I can't make it up. At first they thought you were faking the funk and now they're like actually admire your work ethic. They wonder if you're out there meeting somebody new or if you're dating somebody new. This person could want to come in with fresh energy as well. Like they're, again, they're debating about whether they should try to come back into your life. Look, we have, is it too late? Y'all, yes, they feel like, it's, is it too late or not? Because they feel like you know, you had the receipts on them now. You know the truth about them. They feel like you kind of saw through them. They're afraid They're afraid that they already crossed you or that it's too late again. So yeah, I'm gonna keep it on this side. Is it too late? They're wondering if it's too late. Um, All right, let's get one more, right? Oh my God, we have mind games, but it's in reverse. Yeah, they're realizing that you were not playing mind games with them. Like you were not being egotistical when you were displaying your positive qualities. They really, you really do have those positive qualities. And look what else we have. Money is about to double. Now they feel like your money is really about to double. They could, they could feel upset because they benefited from your lack of boundaries. You may have given this person like the benefit of the doubt, right? Yeah, they're realizing now that you were giving them grace and they took advantage. They're, th they're still thinking about asking you out though because we have let's go on a date, but it came out in reverse. So this person is like going back and forth about whether they should ask you out or not, okay? But yeah, <laughs> oh my goodness. They feel like you're very, very prosperous now. Now they see you in a whole different light. Yeah, I'm not surprised at all. Okay. Let's go ahead now and look back at the Energy Oracle deck. Yeah, you're really on this person's mind heavily right now. I can see mind in the letters, so they're thinking about you is what I'm seeing. They could be tired from this connection or you could be tired of this connection. I'm seeing that. All right, I'm seeing tired in the letters. All right. How do they view you now? And what have they realized about you? Okay. We have the garden and the gate. Ooh, on the bottom of the deck, woman holding a coin. Okay, yeah, this, this makes a lot of sense. Let's get a couple more. What do they realize about you now? And then the world card, wow. They really underestimated your strength. That's what they're realizing about you is that they underestimated your strength and your willpower and perseverance. They kind of felt like because they haven't met many people like you, that you didn't really exist. Like this kind of personality didn't really exist. Okay. 
but it was always right in front of them. Um, they felt like you in the past, right? They saw you as someone who had potential, but you weren't using it. You weren't using it to actually execute and that you were just talking about the potential that you have. And now they're realizing that you were always this, this woman holding a coin. You were always this person holding a coin, which essentially means that you, you're not just potential, you're realizing your potential. You're actually going after it and you're using your skills and your intuition and your logic and your passion to actually move forward in whatever your chosen field or path is, all right? Before they felt like you were timid, that you were, oh, that's actually in the cards too, in the session and letters. They felt like you were timid, that you were um, like too scared to go after what you really wanted, but you would just, one of those people who would talk about it and make it seem bigger than what it was. But they actually realize now that you were being genuine in what you were saying. In fact, you might be even being humble. Now they see you as someone who has the world of possibilities in front of them, okay? I heard the world is your oyster. So they see that you have not more than potential that you're actually executing and that you can get what you want, okay? Very, very interesting. Yeah, I'm hearing that they really, really underestimated you. They didn't think that you were as stable as you actually are. All right, let's see what else we're getting here. How do they view you now? And what have they realized about you? Despair. This person is upset over the way that they treated you. They feel like they fumbled. Yeah, we have the not hiring card in the background. They feel like you're not gonna take them back or you're not interested in them. We have change. They feel like um, the way that they see the way that they see you has changed a lot. The way that they see you have changed a lot. They feel like back then that you were like hiding who you were, but now they realize that you are being truthful and that you're a hard worker. Again, they admire your work ethic a lot. Okay, some of you could have children, and they feel like you're an excellent parent and that you're really really good with your kids. It's not going to be for all of you, of course. But yeah, what have they realized about you? Or like, you know, a project is your child and you do a really good job at that. Look, we have maimed female. Yeah, wow. Whew. They now realize that you could have been a main figure in their life, okay? Or they still kind of see you as someone who is like on their mind the most when it comes to the different options that they have, right? You're on their mind the most. All right, you're like a main option to them, even though they may not be like in your face right now is what I'm is what I'm seeing. Like they could have taken some time away. We do have time. This could be someone that you've known for quite a long time as well. For some of you, uh, there's definitely been some time that has passed in this connection. I mean, obviously, right? This is the theme of the reading. And yeah, things have definitely changed for them. Things have definitely changed for them. Hmm. Now they realize that you're a really hard worker and that you were definitely being humble when you were talking about what you were achieving before. They felt like you were kind of lying. Like they kind of felt like you were embellishing a lot. But now they realize that you were never in this place of despair. Like you've always, you've always been in a comfortable place ever since they've known you. Okay. They thought that you were, you know, faking the funk, to be honest. All right. What else do I think about you now? My intentions can be selfish at times. Yeah, they, they felt like they were only just, they were seeing me in the connection in a selfish way. Again, they kind of just wanted more of a physical connection. You're on my mind the most. Guys, what did I say about you being on their mind a lot? All right, how do, how do they view you now? I'm thinking of forever. Psh, yeah, I'm telling you. Now they see you in a whole different light. They feel like, oh, you could have been the one though. Okay, I am lost without you. I don't know if it's that extreme, but yeah, they, they're a little confused though. They're confused about how they miss this. I'll say that, right? I secretly admire you. Yeah, how do they feel about you now? How do they feel about my collective now? I miss you, huh? Yeah, don't forget about me. And I'm talking about you to others. Mm-hmm. Show is, and then <laughs> lastly, we're going to look at my multicolor cards and see what else comes out here. 
this person feels like you have a lot of drive like more drive than they had thought before they could also feel like you're very intelligent like you're a whiz kind of seeing that in the car in the letters as well what did they realize about my pile number ones how do they view them now big booty okay <laughs> lol they can feel like you have a big butt you look you saw right through me oh my goodness yes exactly they feel like you saw right through them very interesting i'm frustrated with your boundaries very and okay yep so they feel frustrated at the fact that you you saw right through them and you put up a boundary with them no matter how hard i try i can't get over you no one compares mm -hmm. yeah they do compare other people to you okay i'm becoming ob obsessed with you i just can't get enough of you honey oh my goodness okay they feel like you have a piercing gaze gorgeous eyes yeah that came up so confirmation on that the top of the deck here i really can't uh miss this one it says i underestimated your self-worth i'm impressed mm -hmm. yeah now they're impressed with you now they admire you we have you're a great friend people love being around you that's how they feel about you now they realize they can't judge a book by its cover yeah they realize that you're the full package that's what they see about you now this person could be like now they're they're kind of like someone you don't know you know what i mean like they've they kind of like made themselves exit your life in some ways all right or there's you two are just not as close as you were before that's for sure but they still feel like you're the full package they realize that you gave them grace but or, or like the benefit of the doubt but they fumbled that opportunity with you and now they don't get to be around someone who's actually as prosperous as you because um yeah, they, they thought you were like, you know, you thought you were fake flexing, but it was all real. It was all real. Okay. Anyway, that's what I have for y'all. I do hope that you enjoyed this reading. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch it until the end. If you did like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Become an OG. The way you can watch the OG reading is going to be all about channeled messages from your person. Okay, you can stay with this person or you can switch people. And if you'd like more content from me, do check out my TikTok. Um, it's under the same handle, Lunar Light Tarot. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, that's also available. You can book with me at my website, LunarLightTarot.com. And I have it linked in the description below. Thanks so much, guys. I'll talk to you in the next one. Love and light. Bye. Hello, pile number two. If you chose the angel card or this pinkish whitish crystal, this one is for you. It's going to be all about how they viewed you back then versus how they view you now and what has this person realized about you since then. So let's go ahead and get into some initials, charms, and zodiac signs to get you started. And let's see if we can pick up on your initials, this person's initials or eight of your guys' zodiac signs. And the charms will help us kind of see what energy they have towards you. Pound two. Okay. Alrighty, so let's start with your letters here. So we have G, T, R, O, I, E. I'm already hearing Greek. This person could be Greek or maybe you are. Another E. B. Another I. Okay, another E. B, Beatrice. Maybe you have a Beatrice here. We have some fans of Beyonce here. I don't know. People who are allergic to bees here. Another I. Okay, that is a lot of repeat letters. I'm gonna see if we can get a few more for palm number two. Palm number two. A few more that aren't repeats. Let's see. Okay. Now we have N. M. Another N. Let's gonna take the repeats now. Okay, there we go. Another R. Another T. Okay, confirmation on those letters. H and L. Very interesting. 
Okay, um, let's go ahead and see what zodiac signs you got. So we have Aquarius, Sagittarius. These are some of the easiest ones to pick up. So they kind of, <laughs> I feel like they accidentally come in every single pile because they're just so long. Another Aquarius, another Sagittarius. See what I mean? Okay, we have Gemini, Scorpio, Cancer, mm -hmm. Capricorn, another Gemini, another Cancer, okay. Then we have Aries, and last but not least, Libra. Okay, um, a lot of air sign energy here. Um, you or this person could be an air sign or just have a lot of that in your chart. So let's quickly look at the charms and I will put them away afterwards, okay? Ooh, very interesting combination here. So we have this, your person thought you were very um, sexy or they still think you're sexy right off the bat. This is kind of like overarching energy, that makes sense, okay? Of your whole reading. All right, so your person feels like you were very sexy, very sweet as well with the cherry and the strawberry. Um, someone who has kind of a mystical or like a magical energy to them where you come off as, you know, a little bit magical and also very wise because we do have the, um, the mermaid tail and the unicorn telling me that you're very like one of a kind and a little bit magical. The owl is telling me that you come across as someone who's very wise, okay? And we have these two hearts here. So, but they're both kind of small. One of them is actually small and the other one is only filled up halfway. So this person couldn't really tell what you felt about them. They kind of felt like you had some feeling towards them, but it wasn't very strong. Like they really couldn't tell. Um, if you wore makeup when you saw this person, they feel like you wore really nice makeup. They could like the way that your lips look, that kind of thing. Um, they feel like you have a little bit of a prickly exterior and that it's a little hard to get to know you, but that it's worth it. Like you're very interesting. You're a very interesting person. Okay. So that's what we got there. Alrighty, now none of that resonated. We are going to go ahead and get into this big long reading. So don't even worry about it. Let's see what we got here. Okay, I'm definitely getting the word beehive. Maybe you guys like um, live near a place with a lot of bees, or you could you like could like Beyonce. Okay, I'm just I'm just getting that. So let me get a few um, names while before we get into the tarot because I've seen the name um, Hallie. Haley, mm. I'm seeing um, Bert, Roberto, Robert, Hilbert, Gilbert, okay, things like that. Uh, I'm seeing the word trio. Maybe there were friends involved in the situation or like, you know, friends were told about like what happened between you and this person, okay. I'm um, hearing the name uh, Megan, Meg or Megan, Marvin, Matt, Mitch, Mitchell, Naya, Georgia. That could be, you know, a place of living or your name. What else am I getting here? I'm picking up on the word brave, so someone could feel like you're brave, or you know, you could like that movie from Disney. You could have hair like or look somewhat like Meredith from um, the movie Brave, where she has that bright orange hair or like orange hair in general. Hmm. Terrence, Travis, Trevor. That's definitely coming up. Bob. Mm, okay. And a Grayson, Gary. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's pretty much all that I'm getting for the names right now. Okay. I'm glad we paused for that because I feel like there was a lot there. Alrighty. So let's now go ahead and see how they viewed you in the past. Okay. So what you have was the Empress, the Ten of Wands in reverse, Nine of Wands, and the Hierophant. Well, 
your person immediately thought that you were very beautiful, very abundant, and you seemed very, very put together, especially on the surface, you seemed very put together. But as they kind of got to know you a little bit, they realized that they felt like you were hiding a lot of burdens from them, okay? That you were secretly going through things, or they felt like you were someone who takes on struggles alone. Some of you could be single parents, out there um you don't have to be um some of you have a lot of responsibilities that you take on alone like you could have your own business some of you have like um like a pet or multiple pets that you take care of alone maybe you're paying all your bills you know what i mean um and you have a lot on your plate okay some of you could have multiple jobs but yeah this person felt like you make it look easy what you do and how you carry all that weight but they saw that you were guarded with them with the nine of wands here they felt like you were not someone who is super open they felt like you were kind of emotionally closed off to them or you had them at an arm's distance all right because you know we were just trying to like bet them or get to know them but they felt like you were very very mysterious with this moon card but it kind of made sense as well they feel like you with the Hierophant that you're someone who has learned a lot. You've gone through a lot of spiritual lessons and you're coming across as someone who's very wise, who's intuitive and that other people look up to. So you have a very, a very high image in their eyes. They, they kind of put you on a pedestal and they respect that you're able to handle so many things at once. Okay, without complaining or coming off like you're complaining in some sense. So that's how they felt about you in the past. Okay, is that you're a very, very like, hard worker. Um, and that you have your light, you have your ish together. Very interesting. They can feel like you do a lot to help other people. Some of you can work in the medical field, but you don't have to. How do they view you in the past? How did this person view you in the past? Okay. We have child, orphan, independence based on learning to go it alone. Ooh, conquering any fear of surviving. Yeah, wow, well, they feel like you had to go it alone. Like you're very you're very independent. They feel like this could have turned you into a victim, but you don't let it, okay? This prevents you from letting yourself be a victim or being victimized. I feel like you you they feel like you had a life where you could have let yourself turn into a victim and maybe they don't know everything about what you've been through but they just know that it could be heavy okay like what you went through could have been heavy but you still are able to handle it all with a lot of grace okay yeah that is very very interesting they feel like you're very independent that's how they felt about you in the past so you're very independent you didn't really need other people in your life and you were doing very well for yourself okay okay let's see oh 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 we have a couple of things here we have wants you so badly thinks about you a lot sexual fantasies spouse material best friend super sexy yeah this person they felt like you were spouse material um they felt like you you know they wanted you badly i'm having dreams about you just came out yeah wow how did they view you in the past how did this person view you in the past? They did want to date you. You were someone they saw as like a serious option for them. Okay. You have seductive siren, natural flirt. I just don't see this working out. I'm sorry. This is interesting though, because they were worried it wouldn't work out with you or that you would push them away. If I want to get closer to you, I felt like they feel like you were going to push them away. All right. Maybe because you're too busy. Mm -hmm. They could have felt like you weren't on, uh, they could have felt like they weren't good enough for you or that you want to just keep them in the friend zone as well. Yeah, this is someone who may have started as a friend with you and they wanted more with you. Okay, or they're trying to keep it respectful, like at that level. Oh, but they really started to fall in love with you like very quickly because we do have the word love in the letters here. So yeah, this person could have tried, like could have easily fallen in love with you okay if i find your presence soothing as well so yeah they felt like you were very easy to be around but that you took on so many burdens by yourself and they wanted to kind of help you ease that heaviness 
that you had going on, okay? Let's see what else we got here with the Energy Oracle. We're just gonna go into the Energy Oracle and then we're gonna switch it around to how they see you now. And we're gonna get a lot more information on that, okay? How do they view you in the past? Yeah, they feel like you had the world on your shoulders. They wanted to be there to kind of help you out with this and help balance out your energy, but they felt like you weren't receptive to a relationship, okay? They feel like you were maybe too busy. They feel like you were too busy working towards a goal, working towards some kind of win to like open this door with them, the garden and the gate. Yeah, they felt like you were not focused on love with this angel of love card. Very interesting. Yeah, in the past, they feel like you actually pushed them away, all right? They feel like you were playing hard to get. And I'm also kind of seeing that. Yeah, you were playing hard to get. It was really difficult for them. I feel like they were disappointed in the dynamic between you guys. Again, this could have been like a friends to lovers kind of thing. Or they, you know, this was a friend and they wanted to be a lover of yours. This could have been someone that you were dating. But they feel like you did not have enough time for them. Okay. But they still want you a lot. They feel like you're so busy. And that you just have a lot going on. So it's really difficult. But you don't necessarily want their help either. Okay. That's pretty much what we have for how they felt about you back then. Let's go ahead and shift to how they feel about you now. And also what they have realized about you. And we're going to get a lot more messages about that. So just hold on one second. I'm going to clear this up. And then I'll be right back. All right, now let's get into part two. How do they see you now? And what have they realized about you? Okay, how do they see you now? Okay, we have the judgment card coming out first. How do they see my pile number twos now? The star, wow. How do they see you now? Seven of swords in reverse. You're definitely still coming out as someone who's very wise. And then the Ace of Cups, again, with the Hierophant underneath the deck. Okay. Um, they feel like you made a wise decision about something. And it could be pertaining to the connection with them. Um, there could have been good reasons why you didn't want to let this person into your life right away. And maybe they were trying to rush things when it came to their relationship with you. And that didn't sit right with you. You could have felt like you're trying to rush into this for a reason. And it's probably not a good one. Okay. There was a reason why you had this person at an arm's distance. And they see now that you were very clever in the way that you went about your relationship with them. Okay. They feel like now they've realized that you've made a decision about them. You've judged them. And you may have deemed that they're not in the right space headspace mindset um you know space in their life to be a consistent figure in yours okay with the star here it really feels like you may have cut this person out because either they weren't giving enough to you or they were again they're trying to push the relationship too fast or um, they wanted like your energy, but they really weren't there for you in some way, okay? There's something about the dynamic that seemed dissatisfying to you. And they realized that ever since you've chosen to maybe put up even more of a wall with this person or to be on guard with them in some way, or maybe you even said something to them where you told them to correct some kind of behavior they feel like that was the right thing for you to do like they were they respect that you did that and they see that you are doing better because of some kind of distance or some kind of boundary that you put in place with them okay it almost seems like a direct result like you either told them something or you could have just stepped away from this connection and ever since then you've been shining extra extra hard okay you could have tried you could have seen that they were being deceptive in some way with the seven of swords or they weren't living up to an expectation that they set for you maybe this person was very consistent in the beginning 
and they kind of fell off. They could have been expecting you to be kind and to be warm and to kind of chase after them. But instead, you kind of just mirrored their energy back to them. You know what I mean? Not that you were just being petty, but it's like you weren't going to invest in somebody who wasn't going to invest in you. All right. And so when you did take your energy back, they were kind of shocked by this. All right. Now this person wants to come and make some kind of resurgence or like a reconciliation. They always knew that you were this like wise person. Honestly, I can't really tell why they, why they tried to maybe like play you or something or had this like in and out sort of energy um, with you. But yeah, what they or maybe they just didn't want commitment or something like that. But now they want this resurgence with you. Ace of Wands and Ace of Cups. They never stopped being attracted to you is also what I'm seeing. This person could have tried to put you in a third party situation or like maybe they could have been weighing out their options too heavily. They could have been trying to put you in competition whole while you were the competition. Like you, you blew everyone else out of the water. You're the empress the whole time. Yeah, now this person, they could be taking some time apart for you and they learn this in their time apart. All right. And they feel like, yeah, you were smart to hold them at an arm's distance because look what happened. That's how they feel. They're like, well, that's what I get, honestly. Very, very interesting. Let's go ahead now and check out the archetype cards again and see how else they do they view you now. Okay. How do they view you now? How does this person view you now? Okay, we do have um, child. It says magical. Seeing potential for sacred beauty in all things. The belief that everything is possible. Now they feel like, now they feel like you have this magical energy about you where you're able to transmute negativity into power. You're able to transmute your pain into power. And again, with that victim card underneath the death, like you don't allow yourself to be a victim. They see that in more ways than one now. Okay. They see that you have this like this beautiful energy, but you won't let people take advantage of you. You won't let people walk all over you. Okay. They feel like you were able to skate by a situation where others would get caught up in a very lighthearted way. Hence the child energy, right? That you're able to kind of just move along it in a lighthearted way. They kind of underestimated you, especially with that child energy. Like that thought, not honestly they thought that you were naive. Um but they just thought they could get more out of you. I, yeah, I literally say they get get more in the letters here. So they thought they thought that they could get more out of you than they did. Um but that wasn't that just wasn't clever of them. They really should have just been more genuine or more giving towards you. They realized they should have given more. Okay, we do have the word we have given literally. So they feel like they should have given more to you. Very, very interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and continue on with my uh, white and yellow cards. If you guys like this reading so far, do go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It really does help my channel. Let's me know what you guys want to see. And it's not too late to subscribe to the channel to become an OG so you can watch the OG reading. That's going to be uh, all about channeled messages from this person and what do they want to say to you, okay? So yeah, the OGs are just a nickname for my subscribers. So if you want to become an OG, then you can watch the OG reading, which is a subscriber bonus I have at the end of all, all of my pick a card readings, okay? Been doing that since way back in the DAY. All right, so how do they feel about you now? How does this person feel about you now? Interesting. Ooh, okay, we have this is only a test, don't settle. This is really interesting. I feel like this person originally felt like you were holding them at an arm's distance, but they almost like got used to not having to put a label on things or maybe having a little bit of like a friends with benefits relationship or um, being able to be so close with you without having to give very much. And then when it really came time for them to, maybe maybe you started to open up to them and you were, you were ready to maybe have a deeper relationship. And then they were like, oh no, we're not doing this. Oh yeah, we're just friends, yeah. Now they feel like you see them in this light. Like you're not, you're not really trying to be more with them. You're holding, again, you're still holding them at, a, at that arm's distance. I'm going to, I'm going to take platonic love back. That was just for the, for the point, but 
Yeah. Okay, how do they see you now? How do they see you now? I, I see the word grovel in the letters here, so they could want to apologize to you, like, very deeply. Okay, how do they see you now? Hmm, let's go ahead and do like this. Yeah, let's go on a date. Yeah, this person wants to ask you out, but they're they're a little nervous about doing that. We have you are so beautiful on the back of the card. Okay, they are nervous to ask you out. They feel like they're not sure if you would accept them anymore. We do have, I see and I treasure your worth. And on the back it says unbreakable, unstoppable, unequitable. Laugh now, cry later. So if this person did try you in any way, they realize that that was just a bad idea. Um, they see and they treasure your worth. They think you're an amazing person. Okay. They've always liked you though. So I don't really know why they would try to play with you. They think you're very sweet, caring, considerate, and genuine. How do they view you now? Are you thinking about me? I need to know that you still care. So yeah, they're not sure if you still care about them or you're just moving on and you're just focused on your work right now. They feel like you are very focused on your work. Okay. Alrighty, let's see what else we can get. Let's look at my Kipper fortune telling cards. How do they view you now? How do they view you now? I meant to get these earlier, but I forgot guys, sorry. So if you see them in the other piles, you know, just, just know. I was like, dang it, I put them away. Um, but yes, we have the family room. Cause this person could feel like you're very focused on your, your family life or you're focused on your home right now. Um, your family focused. They feel like you want stability. All right. How do they see you now? They, they want to court you. They want to offer you some kind of gift or an apology. Okay. This person wants to come in and court you. They want to talk to you again. That's what I'm getting. The person doesn't want to like give up on this connection yet because they feel like you're that main person that they really like. Like you're the one that they really like. All right. If they have other options and they feel like the other options really don't compare to you, they like you the most. All right. But they feel like they messed up in some way. Some, somehow in the middle, they mess up. Interesting. They realize that you're not going to stand for even a little bit of mistreatment. Okay. Like you're just not going to give in. Yeah. The, this person could have wanted you to give in to them as well. I'm seeing that in the letters, but that definitely did not work. Again, they tried, they could have tried to, um, have a lot of options with the trio. They could have tried to weigh out their options for too long. And that wasn't going to work with you. You know what I mean? That wasn't going to fly. Let's see. All right. Now they feel like you don't want to, you don't want to explore with them. You don't want to go on this journey with them. That's what I'm getting. Like you don't want to take a chance on them. Yeah. They, re they, they realize you want stability. Like you, you want someone who's going to do it right the first time. That's what they realize about you. That you're very strict with your boundaries. What have they realized about you? What have they realized about you? Hostilities. Ooh, they realize that you have a tough side. You're not all sweetness and, and, and happiness and peaches and cream. You're, you can be tough, okay? How do they view you now? They feel like you're kind of mad at them. Even if you are not. Yeah, you can, You might not be speaking to this person. If you're not speaking to them, that's making them anxious. But they're not showing you that. Yeah, it's making them anxious. Cornucopia. They feel like they missed out. Honestly, they feel like they missed out on having a really prosperous connection. All right. That is bad. <laughs> I wouldn't even lie. But yeah, this person could have tried to make you jealous in some way. Maybe they had like some bad behavior when it came to you. Maybe communication was um, spotty as well. Or they could have made excuses. Right. But yeah, now they feel like you don't like them. Now they feel like you're you just you just see them as someone you should not settle for. All right. And I feel like they messed up. All right. So let's go ahead and look at my um, multicolored cards as well. And that's going to wrap it up. All right. Oh, no, I have more. What am I talking about? We have so much more. Hold on. <laughs> I'm like forgetting which decks we use. All right. All right. How do they, how do they feel about you now? All right, yeah, I feel you were unpredictable. Mm-hmm, exactly. Yeah, they don't know what to think about you anymore. They're like, oh, wow. 
That's what they've realized. They're unpredictable. You can switch it up on them. If you love me, I'll take care of you. So they, yeah, they do want to come in and take care of you. Look, they are not you. So if they put you in a third party, yeah, they're not you. They feel like their other options do not compare to you. I am lost without you. I am thinking of forever. This person really does like you. I want more than what we have. So yeah, they could want to come back in and talk to you because they are scared that you are moving on. Yeah. They could have heard something about you as well. Okay, Spirit, what do they hear? What do they hear about you? They heard that you're frustrated with them. <laughs> okay. They think that you're frustrated with them for sure. Okay, now we're ready for the multicolored cards. Okay. How do they view you now? And what have they realized about you? Okay, they realize that you're a boss. Okay, we have boss coming out here. <laughs> Interesting. So they realize that you are a boss. They feel like you have a cute face. They feel like you have great flirting skills. I'm gonna think about you now. Coworker. This could be someone who is a coworker to you in some way. Uh, this could, I mean, this could be your boss, could be a coworker. All right. You make me so nervous. I want to look cool in front of you. Yeah, now you make them very nervous, this person. Huge blessings are on the way. So they feel like you are, again, you're moving on to bigger and better things. And ever since you put distance between you and them, your life has been better. That's how they feel, right? And it kind of makes them sad. I'm frustrated with your boundaries. What do they think about you now? Sexy chest. Okay, they feel like you have a great chest. I have to take this one. Your glow and appeal makes me jealous. So many people want you. Yeah, so they feel like they're losing out to other options. I heard stiff competition. If you made a recent change in your appearance, they are thinking about that. It could be your hair. So they feel like you have very lovely hair. This person kind of wants you all to themselves, but they're slowly becoming an acquaintance to you. Okay, what they realize about you is that you have a strong cutoff game. That you have a strong um, step back game, okay? That you're not one who's gonna give in to mm, like settling, okay? You're not going to settle. Um, and they feel like they messed up with you in some way and that you caught them. You caught them really, really quick and caught them juggling options and that you weren't going to settle for that. And they were surprised at the way that you were able to handle the situation. Okay, they realize you're not someone who's gonna like wallow or like be upset or uh, really, you know, they feel like you could have been a little bit sad about it, but you just like very quickly moved on from them. They feel like you have moved on. Um, so they realize that they shouldn't have tried you. Essentially, that, that's what's happening here. Okay, alrighty guys, that's what I had for you today. Feel free to let me know what you thought about the reading. I would love to hear from you. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Become an OG. The way you can watch the OG reading is going to be all about channeled messages from your person and what they'd want to say to you. Uh, if you guys want more content from me, go ahead and check out my TikTok. It's under the same handle, Lunar Light Tarot. And then I also have a website where you can book personal readings with me. That's LunarLightTarot.com. And it's all booked in the description. It's all linked in the description below. All right. Thanks so much for watching today's reading. I'll talk to you in the next one. Love and light. Bye. Hello, pal number three. If you chose the goddess card or this reddish crystal, this one is for you. We're going to go ahead and get into how did this person view you back then versus how do they view you now and what have they realized about you along the way? So before we get into the tarot that I've already started to pull for you, we're going to look at some initials, zodiac signs and charms to see if we can get your initials, their initials, their zodiac, your zodiac, and just kind of see some of the energy that we have going on for you, okay? So for pile number three, what do we have for you guys? Let's see what we got. Pile number three. Okay. All righty. This seems pretty good. Let's go ahead and start with your letters, okay? So we got W, O, another O, C, 
R, N, B, E, K, I, hmm, I heard you getting the word wreck. This person could feel like a wreck. We have another N, another N, A, another I. Whoops, I'll just hit the repeats now. <laughs> okay. Another E, U, G, another E, and another U. Okay. Somehow I feel like we always get the same amount of uh, letters in all the piles. Isn't that interesting? You know what they say, the universe works in mysterious ways. Okay. <laughs> hmm. All right. I'm trying to see if I can get any names from this, but let's go ahead and look at your zodiac signs. We have Sagittarius twice. We have Aquarius. These are some of the longer ones. So I feel like they're just easier to pick up. <laughs> Maybe that's why I keep getting them. Or we just have a lot of Aquarius and Sagittarius in the house because it came out twice. All right, we have Aries. Aries gang, shout out. I'm also an Aries. Capricorn. Scorpio. Cancer. Taurus, twice. Then we have Libra and Leo. Okay, Scorpio also came out twice. Very interesting. Okay. I was going to say, do we have um, almost all the earth signs? So a lot of earth energy mm, and some air energy as well. Those are probably the biggest ones. I mean, we have a little bit of everything. Fire, earth, and air okay now for your charms um this is kind of the overall energy that you kind of got throughout the time that this person has known you okay now this person feels like you're flexible and stable that you're someone who is growing and that you're prone to growth and that you're always kind of climbing to new levels okay with the star with this uh steps here with the star, I think you're someone who's very unique. You do have a magnetism, but you're also kind of prickly. And maybe you're a little bit hard to get to know, or you have some uh, boundaries, okay, with the cactus there. I'm hearing that you hold a lot of value inside. Okay, now I'm going to get a, let's see if we can channel some names, okay, here. I'm hearing uh, Greg, Gregory. Casey, Kirk, mm -hmm. Brittany, Bianca, Eugene, Jenny, um, the person could feel like you're a little bit of a genie. Like you kind of get what you want. Emily. Nina. Nancy. Warren. Wendy. Walk. I'm not, I mean, that could be just, you know, you maybe you use a walk a lot or maybe that's actually someone's name. Hmm. Killian, Bo, hmm. Onis, kind of a random one. Hmm. Okay. 
that's pretty much all that I'm getting for these names for now. Um, all right, we're going to move on. Oh, we'll just say Ren. We'll just say Ren for a name. But yeah, let's go ahead and move on to your actual tarot. If none of that resonated, it's all right because we have a whole big reading to get into where we're going to be talking all about you and this person. So let's just see what comes through. All right. So have they viewed you in the past? I've already pulled some cards through. We have the Empress, the Two of Cups, the Sun. The Seven of Cups in reverse and the King of Pentacles. Very, very strong energy. These all came out kind of in a stack uh, when I got them. So yeah, when this person first met you, it could have been like a connection or love at first sight. They were very, very, very drawn to you, very magnetized to you. They feel like you were gorgeous. You guys had great conversation. Things were flowing very easily. They felt like they had met someone, all right? They felt their heart really flutter. It's kind of giving me a first impressions kind of energy. Uh, but yeah, when they were getting to know you, you know, the first couple months or, you know, first couple days or weeks, you know, however long in the past ago this was, they felt a strong connection for you and they saw you in a very, very, very high light, okay? They really enjoyed your personality, the way that you talk to them, um, the kind of energy that you have. They feel like you're a very bright person in that you have a very strong energy very strong light being around you your energy is very palpable you're very fun to be around it's very enjoyable it's light-hearted you're easy to be around and you're someone who like at least in the beginning they were not confused by this connection and maybe they were maybe they're the kind of person who is usually confused or they don't really know what they want um they felt like all of that was out of the water and they felt like they wanted to be in a relationship with you. Yeah, they wanted to work with you when they first, you know, in the past, they wanted to work with you. They wanted to collaborate with you and they felt like you were the right kind of person for them to be more serious about, okay? To have stability with because they really saw you as this empress, this goddess. I mean, you guys chose the goddess card, so there you go. Um, let's go ahead now and check out my archetype cards and see how else they viewed you in the past. I'm seeing crown now in the letter. So yeah, they could have viewed you in a, they put a, put, they could have put you on a pedestal and also seeing king. Whoa, crown and king. So this person could have wanted to be, you know, your king. They could have wanted you to be their queen. Right. Um, and they kind of put a crown on your head. Like they put you up on a pedestal. Ooh, not the crown being there. That is so interesting. How did they view you back then? I'll take that one. Sorry. How did they view you back then? Sometimes it just come out so quick that I'm like, hold on a second. <laughs> All right. We do have damsel. It says understanding the nature of healthy romance inspires you to rely on yourself. Very interesting. Okay. The shadow attribute is waiting for a knight to provide you, to provide for you seduction by a romantic illusion. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of both from these messages. Um, they kind of felt like, are you too good to be true? Yes, I'm definitely getting that. They felt like they were clear on what they wanted with you, but they weren't sure if you're a little bit too good to be true. There's a little bit of question mark there. Um, but yeah, they felt like you were someone who knew what you wanted that you had a healthy understanding of romantic love and you just seem like the, the main person, like the one in the picture. I mean, this person has a frame around their face. They were really putting you up in a highlight, I have to say. And they kind of only saw you when it compared to, when compared to their other options. They just felt like you were the best option, okay? They felt like you were trying to have a healthy romance and that you were someone that they could have a healthy dynamic with. Okay. They felt like they had won when they met you. Like it was a big win. Yeah. We had big win literally in the letters there. So yeah, they felt like it was a big win when they met you. Let's see. What else? How do they view you in the past? How did this person view you in the past? I find you intriguing and mysterious. You are sexy. Okay. How did this person view you in the past? The baddest on the block? Guys, I know that's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, I feel like you were the baddest. How did this person view you in the past? Okay. 
Um, we have, I like you more than I let on, please don't leave. So they were nervous about you, you know, not wanting them or leaving them behind in some way. How did they view you in the past? Okay, we have face card never declines because they felt like you had a really beautiful face, especially. All right. Whenever they're with you, they felt like this feeling of like relief is what I'm getting as well. Mm-hmm. Ooh. And then here comes the some weirdness. Bitter, resentful, feels you owe them. I think about you more often than I'd admit. Okay, how do they feel about you in the past? Um, there's something about Ooh, this is kind of tough to describe. Bitter and resentful. It came out in reverse. They were kind of hiding that they were afraid if you were to get to know them, you would be disappointed in them or you wouldn't really like them. This person could have been a little bit jealous of your shine as well. We do, oh, okay, we do have, um, okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, here, here is some of the explanation of the storyline. Thank you, Spirit. All right, so this person at first could have come off to you like they were going to be Someone who wanted to spoil you. Someone who's going to be very chivalrous. Not necessarily a sugar daddy for real, but you know what I mean? They had that like sugar daddy kind of energy. Like maybe they were paying for everything when you first got together with them. They said they wanted to spoil you. They're opening all the doors, right? They're just being very chivalrous towards you. But this person could have known that this is not who they really are. This person took it to the next level when they met you. If they're not the kind of person who really usually pays for dates, or not the kind of person who usually opens the door for somebody or uh, picks them up, you know what I mean, to go on a date. They knew that they were wearing a mask. They knew that they're being dishonest and deceptive in that they're, they don't usually like this stuff. They're not usually romantic like this. Yeah, they wanted to pull you, so they're gonna pull out all the stops, um, but it could have actually made them feel, as as time went on, and you guys were getting to know each other and they were doing these things for you, it could have made them feel a little resentful and they could have felt like you owe them. You owe them closeness because they were acting this way towards you. All right? Oh, oh that makes more sense. And then we have, I see you're doing better without me. So oh, that's kind of, that's a little peek into the future, I guess. Maybe you two are not as close anymore. You're not really talking as much anymore. Okay. But yeah, after uh, you guys kind of had that initial like getting to know each other phase and they were treating you really, really well, they kind of felt resentful over giving so much to you, okay? Very interesting. Um, let's go ahead and look at my Kipper fortune telling deck to see what else they thought about you back then. How did they view you in the past? How did this person view them in the past? We have poverty. This person felt like you were taking from them and then they weren't going to get enough back or they weren't getting enough back. They could have felt like you weren't giving them enough like physical attention. With the, with the high honor card, they did feel like it was an honor to be around you. They also felt like they could have um, made it seem like they had more money than they actually did and that was stressing them out like especially if this person was someone who was like paying for dates and things like that they may not have actually had it like that but they were trying to give it to you like that because they wanted to seem honorable with you okay had a view in the past gift yeah they wanted they wanted to give to you a lot but may, they may not have actually been in that position okay how did they view you in the past? They feel like you were a gift to their life as well. Yeah, they wanted to court you for sure. Of course they wanted to court you because they were very attracted to you. How did they view you back then? How did this person view you back then? For my pal number twos, they were impatient when it came to the connection. They wanted a lot from you. They Maybe they wanted like physical intimacy. They wanted you over their house a lot, right? Yeah, this person was secretly envious. Or again, they just like wanted a lot from you in return. All right. Um, with the envy card, they could have been envious of like your shine, of your charisma. Um, this person was attracted to you because of your shine. 
but then I feel like they got intimidated by it. They kind of felt like it's gonna rub off on them. If they were around you, you're gonna make them look really good. But really what it did is made them realize that they don't have enough to keep you. Okay, and they, they started, they could have started to close their heart off to you pretty quickly and become cold with you. All right. Something about this connection really triggered them. They felt like you were more stable than them in many ways, and it did trigger them. Okay, you could make more money than this person, and maybe you have like a hunch that you do, and they have that same hunch and they don't like it, they do not like it. Money was definitely a factor in this connection and it kind of put a wedge or this person may have put a wedge between you two because of that, but they were secretly like envious of you in some way or secretly bitter towards you because they felt like you weren't giving enough to them. They're like, your energy and your presence isn't enough. I need, <laughs> you know, I need to roll in the hay right now. I don't know. They wanted, they wanted more from you for some reason. They wanted you to like maybe chase after them or give them validation in some way, okay? Hmm. Alrighty, so that's what we have for how they viewed you back then. Let's go ahead and shift into how they view you now and what they've realized about you. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, welcome to part two. Let's go ahead and find out how they view you now plus what have they realized about you if you guys are liking the reading so far go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel become an og an og so you can watch the og reading oh my goodness do we have og read in the letters no we don't have the d but pff, lol let me getting excited but it's going to be all about the channel messages from your person so if you guys want to subscribe become an og then you can watch that reading it's not too late but yeah let's go ahead and get into part two okay yeah, how do they view you now? How does this person view my pile number threes now? How do they view pile number three now? Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles. How do they view pile number three now? Okay. We have the Tower in reverse. How do they view pile number three now? The Page of Wands, the Two of Cups in reverse very interesting with the wheel of fortune all right this person feels like you're moving on from them all right they feel like your well of energy for them has really dried up a lot a lot and now you're no longer as interested in them but for some reason now that you're not as interested in them they are like way more interested in you <laughs> and i mean like not that they weren't interested in you to begin with um but now they kind of want to double down but they're confused about, they're worried about what you're going to say if they were to come towards you with some kind of truth, all right? But yeah, with the Knight of Pentacles and the Tower card, now they feel like they held back too much in the connection. They held back too much. Maybe they were too stingy and maybe they were too transactional, all right? Or they moved too slow. There's a big emphasis on moving slow and that causing a, a Tower moment. Or maybe they didn't move slow enough, right? Like they, like I said, they wanted a lot from you, right? They wanted a lot of your like attention. Maybe they slowed things down on purpose so that you would chase them or whatever. Um, but whatever it was, now they feel like they've messed up in some way. And that there's water underneath the bridge in your guys' connection, all right? They see you now as being distracted from the situation like you're not really interested you're working on your other endeavors you're working on other things they say that you're maybe like trying out new hobbies doing something different you could be traveling right now i'm getting that some of you could have picked up a new hobby something to do with the arts or maybe it's like uh crafting in some way um some of you guys this person now feels like you put a spell on them huh like whether you did or not, this person can feel like you put a spell on them to make them not forget about you because they can't get over you, okay? They're having a really hard time getting over you. Now they kind of want to step back in towards you. They're thinking about it, but they're really not sure. They're not sure how you still feel about them or if you'd be interested. This person might reach out to you um, in the springtime, like after the spring equinox. 
if you're watching this at the time this comes out, um, they might reach out to you in the springtime, okay? They're definitely thinking about it. Now let's go ahead and look at my archetype cards again and see how they see you now, all right? How are they viewing you now? The person views you as someone who has a lot of plans, you're busy, you have a lot of friends. How do they view you now? Divine source. Okay, what flipped over? Kind of bully in reverse. Okay, they feel like they couldn't bully you. They couldn't push you into um, getting their way. How do they view you now? Thank you. We have the poet. Expresses soul insights in symbolic language. The shadow attribute is turns a lyric gift into a negative or destructive effect. Interesting. So you could have said something to this person that really stuck with them, whether it was positive or negative. Something that you said to them really stuck with them. And that's part of the way that they see you. They realize that you say what you mean and you mean what you say. And you don't mince words. Okay. Um, they miss your voice. There's also what I'm seeing, like if they have access to your social medias in any way that they can hear your voice, they're they're listening to that. Okay. Hmm. They see you as someone who is poetic. They see this as almost like poetic justice as well. Um, they feel that you work in mysterious ways. Like they, uh, they'll, they also feel like you kind of beat them at their own game. If they did play any games with you, I feel like they wanted to make you like beg for this connection for some for some reason, because that made them feel uh, like above you in some way. Okay. Hmm. Very interesting. They felt like they were turning the tables on you and that you were just trying to like gain from them. But then they realized that your presence was a bigger gift than they realized. And they should have just been happy with taking things slow. All right. We have mediator at the bottom of the deck. Gift for negotiating fairness and strategy in per personal and professional life. Respect for both sides of an argument. This is very interesting because they feel like you were able to navigate the situation really well and that you had a fair approach to whatever happened between the two of you, whether that be taking a step back, whether that be having like a certain conversation with them, they felt like that was all warranted. Okay. Let's go ahead and look back at my white and yellow cards and see what else we're getting. Okay. How do they view you now? How do they view you now? I'm here for intention, not commitment. Yeah, they feel like you found them out. They feel like you found them out, that they really just wanted your attention. All right, that you saw right through them in a way. Okay, they still feel like your face card never declines. Uh, I'm taking this one though. I'm holding back my secret lust for you. That came out first and then it like flipped. But yeah, they feel like they're holding back their secret lust for you right now. Okay, how do they view you now? They feel like you're, they're jealous of the attention that you receive. I did see that one flash at the top. Um, karma is being served to this person as well. What else can you tell us, Spirit? How do they view them now? Beautiful bare face. This person may be able to find a way to like look at you. Um, they still like, look at your photos and things like that. Okay, we have amazing in bed, experienced, generous lover. So they, I mean, if you if, if that applies. Then they feel like you're amazing in bed and they're they're still thinking about the experiences that you guys had together. How do they view them now? How does this person view them now? F boy, player, selfish intentions. I'm just saying that you, you see them as a player. They feel like you saw right through them because you're very spiritual. They kind of underestimated your spirituality as well. They feel like you're more of like, just like a hippie or you're just relaxed. Um, but really you have some serious gifts. And they feel like you saw right through them. Now they're missing you. Missing, withdrawn, yearning, nostalgic, unwell. Yeah, they feel like you're thinking about moving on. That you want to move on from the connection. But look on the back. They can't get over you and they still want you. They keep their distance. But yeah, now they regret taking too much time with you. Say, so I'm going to take my time with you. I want to hear you beg. Again, with that beg, right? So now they regret trying to put you in, in a position to chase them. They felt like that was a bad idea, all right? 
I'm getting like they fumbled. They kind of fumbled. I'm not sh totally sure what they did, but it was like they just played the wrong move with you, okay? They did the wrong move. I, oh yeah, I'm seeing a uh, wrong over here as well. So yeah, they did. They felt like they did something wrong in the connection. All right, they kind of had opportunity to wear the crown with you. They said, you know, they did something wrong. All right, how they view you now? How they view you now? Toil and labor. They feel like you're busy in other aspects of your life that you're not focused on them. What have they realized about you, and how do they view you now? They feel they feel that you see them as childish. Yeah, they realize that you're not gonna mess with anybody who shows that they're childish. They feel like that's what they think about them. They think that they're not very mature. Um, they realize that you have a lot of strength in your community and that you don't really need people to validate you. Like if you need validation, you can get that from a trusted community. You know what I mean? Or yourself, obviously. Mm. They say that you're popular. They feel like you're popular, this person does. Lovers. Yeah, now now they have a lot of feelings towards you, but they feel like you're very busy at work. All right? You could have a lot of support in your community for what you do. Maybe you're someone who's actually involved in, in your community, like with community organizing. Maybe you go to your local gym a lot, right? You know people there. Um, there's something about like you being known in some way. We actually have, um, we actually have being known in the letters. So yeah, there's something about like you being known for sure. They feel like, um, that you're kind of popular. That's what they realized about you that like there were more, there were many people who wanted you, like not just them and that you had options. You have plenty of options and you were just giving them a chance. Psh, LOL. Um, uh, let's see what else we have. How do they view you now? And what have they realized about you? Ooh, yeah, they realize you're not gonna go for any deceitful connections. All right, people who, you know, are, are bitter or feel like you owe them because they wanna treat you right, like ridiculous. They, are, they were a little too transactional in this connection is what I'm feeling. How they view you now? Envy it. Oh my God, the envy coming back up. So yeah, they're they're envious of the attention that you're getting now. They're envious that you have other people who wanted to come in and appreciate you. Yeah, they feel like you're with somebody else already or that there's someone else coming in to entertain you. So yeah, they're envious about the appreciation that other people are showing you, about the action that other people are showing you, okay? About the action you're having in your own life, honestly. They feel like you're very busy. All right, and that you're not waiting up for them. This person wanted to put the connection on hold in some way, okay? And that really just did not work. That really did not work. Okay, let's see what else I'm getting. Um, these are the Alice's Romance Oracle one and two. What do they think about you now? And what have they realized about you? You drive me crazy. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget about me. What do they think about you now? I'm not ready. Yeah, they're realizing that they weren't ready to be in a connection with you. But um, they realized it, you know, too late because they already, they started to like you. I liked you for a long time. This person still likes you. You found something out about me. Okay. Yeah, what do we find out about this person? I don't trust you. Okay. They feel like you don't trust them. You know what I mean? Um, and you, I think you found out that they were untrustworthy. All right. And they didn't like that. I wish you wouldn't have pushed me away. I have been thinking about you a lot. And look, I'm so jealous. Yeah, they're definitely jealous of you. They're jealous of your options. Uh, they're jealous of how you're able to move on. All right. They feel like it's only a matter of time before you get snapped up by somebody else. And they do not like that. We're going to end things off with my multicolored cards, okay? And if you guys want more, do check out the OG reading all about what this person wants to say to you, okay? Now, what else have they realized about my pile number threes? What do they think about them now? 
I feel so lucky just to be close to you. So yeah, now they're sad because they realized they had it really, really good when they were around you. They should have just kept doing what they were doing instead of switching up the energy on you. I'm a little scared of your spiritual gifts. How did you know that? There's this thing about poetic justice. There's something about the way that you moved in the situation that showed them that you have a lot of wisdom, all right? And that you do have spiritual gifts. An unexpected blessing is about to arrive. Yeah, they, they just feel like you're, you're continuing to do well without them. I've never felt this strongly for anyone. How do they view you now? Stunning face. Okay, yeah, the face card came through multiple times. So confirmation, they think you have a gorgeous face in, in particular. What do they think about you now? Okay. We have, I act like I care, but I really don't. Mm, so yeah, they, they feel like you realize that they were giving to you, but they didn't care enough for you. They didn't care enough for you as a person. Something about like them showing out for you but not being consistent okay yeah then they, they feel like they think that you they think that you think that they don't care all right and that kind of makes them sad because they do care but they came up short sexy legs <laughs> that one flipped and then went back in the deck oh oh what have they realized about you what else you're a boss all right that's for sure you have an attractive physique. Your beauty and charisma is intimidating. And I think I'll miss you forever. Yeah, guys, this is coming through. Okay, so just to recap quickly, like what have they realized about you? They've realized you're not going to settle for any connections where you're not being consistent, where you're not being clear. They realize that you're not going to be put on hold for other options and that you have a lot of other people who want to give to you okay they realize that you're very very known um that you're known on a larger scale than they had previously thought like you have a bigger community they realize that you're a very hard worker they realize that you're very multifaceted okay they're not just like a lover girl or a lover boy or something like you're not just looking for love you are you know you have a lot going on in your life and you weren't going to put your life on hold for this person and for for whatever like inconsistencies that they had going on they were kind of shocked at the fact that you seem to move on very quickly that's what they've realized is that like you're not gonna wait for anybody you're gonna move on all righty guys that's what i have for you today i do hope that you like this reading and that it resonated with you Feel free to let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below and do give it a like if you liked it subscribe to my channel become an og so you can watch the OG reading coming up in just a few seconds. Um, if you guys want more content from me, check out my TikTok. It's under the same handle, Lunar Light Tarot. And um, I post lots of videos over there and you'll always see my face over there too. So if you want to see more of this mug, you can go over to my TikTok. And then if you would like to book a personal reading with me, I would love to have you. Go ahead and check out my website, lunarlighttarot.com. And that's where you can book a personal reading with me. It's all linked in my description box below. Thanks so much for watching this one. I'll talk to you in the next one. Love and light. Bye. Hello to my OGs who say to the very end of the reading, thank you so much for being here with me today. It's so wonderful to have you on the channel. And then we have a lot of new subscribers in the building. Hey, and of course, hello and lots of love to all of my previous subscribers. It's really exciting to see the channel grow in this way. Um, so yeah, um, welcome everybody. Okay, let's go ahead and get into your channeled messages from your person. What do they want to say to you? Um, let's just go ahead and start, all right? What does this person want to say to my OGs? What does this person want to say to my OGs? Okay, I'm um, hearing that song, um, Since You've Been Gone. It's almost like from, from your perspective, though, they feel like you've been doing better since you've been since the connection has uh subsided all right they're whew, they're seeing things very differently now for some reason they want to see the, they want to tell you that they see the connection with new eyes that they had a lot of time to think about the connection with the hermit in reverse and now they have a new perspective 
Um, they're saying that they're disappointed with the way that things panned out with them, um, with you two. And that they should have been like, they should have showed you more that they wanted you. They should have been more passionate towards you and that they realize that your passion for them has kind of run out. What else do they want to say? Yeah, again, they feel like your passion for them has run out, but their passion for you has not run out. They still like you. Okay, from the two of cups to the ace of cups, you know what I mean? Like you drew, you withdrew your cup, but there's still a cup for them. Yeah, knight of wands. Um, they want to say that they want to talk to you. They do want to make a rapid new appearance into your life. I heard uh, one to four weeks. Don't be surprised if this person shows up within one to four weeks. And they want to try to heal the connection with you with the star. They're going to come in and address whatever deceptive energy they've had towards you. And they hope that you'll be receptive to whatever they have to say. Look at this eight of wands. Yeah, there's going to be some kind of communication coming in with this person now. You know, you can go ahead and decide whether you want to hear from this person or not, uh, but they will attempt to contact you, okay? I do I do really feel that within the next one to four weeks. Oh, my confirmation, guys. The chariot card. The chariot. Yeah, they're going to come in to try to contact you because they don't want this to be over. Death in reverse. There's so much major arcana underneath the deck. Yeah, they don't want it to be over with the death card in reverse. And with the temperance in reverse, they're feeling all out of sorts emotionally since this connection left. I feel that for you, it hasn't been that difficult, but for them, the disappointment has been very heavy. Like they didn't anticipate they'll be this disappointed. They kind of, they feel like you are fine though, <laughs> LOL. They feel like you're happy, that you're stable, that you're doing your own thing. But for them, they're secretly watching you and they don't feel as stable. Yeah, they, they, oh my God, they feel like, they feel like the Knight of Cups in reverse, like, I don't know. They feel like their player energy has got, as like, kind of caught up with them, or if they weren't consistent, like, that's caught up with them, you know what I mean? I don't want to call everybody a player, but, I mean, if the shoe fits, they just told, they just weren't totally consistent with you, like, something happened that, that put, that put them in a more negative light, all right? It made you want to back away from the connection and that's what they want to come in and address because they've been disappointed with themselves that they treated you a certain way and they didn't honor the positive energy that you were bringing to the connection and they see now that they kind of fumbled with you so they want to try to make things right okay now i'm not gonna leave y'all hanging with the initials and zodiac sign i'm gonna ignore the charms well, let's see if we can't get this person's like initials towards you and a few zodiac signs, okay? I just wanted to start things off. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we got. V, E, A, P, I. G, another E, so I'll hold on to that. Another G, okay. I heard GG, like good game. Um, they could they could have felt like you kind of beat them out of game. Another A, L. I'm seeing leap. They want to take a leap of faith towards you. T, R, E, another E, another T. That the person has guilt. Literally, I see, I see the word guilt here. So they feel uh, guilt towards you. This person could be uh, vigilant towards you right now. They're still watching you. You have X. Uh, this person could be, you know, R, R, X. Unfortunately, they could be taking some kind of substance to forget about you. This person could be on medication or you are. Uh, people take medication or many different things. So could be confirmation. Another L, another T, and then M. Okay. So this could be your initials or theirs. All right. We do have Sagittarius, Aquarius. I saw this. Is, these are the easiest ones to pick up. I'll probably have to get them in every pile. <laughs> I'm trying to find some different ways to get the charms too. Um, Capricorn, Cancer, 
Gemini, Pisces. All right, we have Libra, another Aquarius. We have all the air signs. Scorpio, Libra again, Cancer again, Pisces again. So we have uh, a lot of water energy and all the air signs. Uh, this person played, it feels like they played games with you, like they were immature when you were really one of a kind with the unicorn. They should have been, you know, they should have been more mature. Um, we do have the cherries. So they just find you to be, you know, very sexy with the cherries. You know, they feel like you're hot. And then the star. So you have the star energy. We do have the star card come out as well. I'll put that right next to Aquarius because we knew, we know Aquarius is the star in the tarot. Oh, yeah. So, yes, the person has guilt towards you. They do want to take a leap of faith towards you. I feel, like, I feel like they wonder how you feel. Like, they wish they could have a map right now. They wish they could have a map towards your emotions or, like, what you think towards them. They feel like they're reaping what they sow right now. They feel like they're reaping what they had sowed with you. Okay? And I know we don't have the whole world. I know we don't have the whole word vigilant, but they do, you know, they're watching you from afar and um they kind of feel like their actions towards you were like just ugh, just not great they're not happy with their actions towards you i got the word vile okay maybe it wasn't that serious but you know they feel like their actions towards you weren't great this person could live somewhat close to you because we have mile this person could live a couple miles from you they're not that far away they didn't have to reply to everybody okay um, let me see. Hmm. I think we're gonna leave it at that. I'm not, I'm not gonna get any names right now. All right. Um, but let's go ahead and see what else they want to say to you. Okay. What else does this person want to say to my OGs? What else do they want to say? I find your friends and family too hard to get along with. They don't get me. This person is afraid to come in because they feel like they're this already too much water under the bridge. Like your friends and family are not going to like them anymore. You know what I mean? That they probably already heard about this situation. So they're they're afraid. They're not going to be well received. Um, they feel like you're actually very inspiring and creative and a natural leader. They didn't tell you that before, but they do feel that way. They feel that the way you switched up on them was uh, iconic and unpredictable. I feel that they were the one who had switched up on you first, but the way you responded was unpredictable and iconic. So they do feel like you're unpredictable. You have dream partner, perfect match, soulmate. They feel like they fumbled because you are that perfect match. They they see you now really differently. Like you could have been the perfect match for them. You also have freaky deaky. The person wants to do kinky things with you. So, hey, there you go. <laughs> oh my goodness. What else are we getting here? Wandering eye, someone taking wants you, your person is looking around. Um, this person is looking for you. I mean, there could, they, they could have put you in a third party or there could have even been some kind of third party. This person does have a wandering eye. That could have been the reason why there's distance in this connection too is because this person was always looking for more options or it felt like they weren't really content with what they had. I feel like they kind of regret that though. Yeah, we have, is it too late? that wanted to come out is it too late to try to resurgence like i keep writing and deleting texts i don't know why we're not speaking this person knows dang well those that have i love you at the bottom of the deck so this person has a lot of energy like that towards you they feel like you were unexpected blessing in their life they do feel like they kind of fumbled their blessing with you though all right let's go ahead and see what else we can get I'm going to look at these energy oracle cards. Okay. Hmm. Thinking man. Okay. This, they feel like they kind of have stopped thinking about this place. They want to take more action towards you. They've been thinking about this for a long time. Yeah. Now they want to open the door to romance with you again, like the sun and door to romance. They want to come back into your life. They want this resurgence with you. They see how happy you are alone. They really want a victory with you. I would not be surprised if this person tries to contact you. I'm just telling you. Whether you want them to or not. You know, they're trying to have a resurgence. They don't want you to move on without them. 
they feel like you have a lot of options with the world card they might try to reach out to you uh if they if you have this person like you know they could text you like i message or they could um even reach out to you over social media you know what i mean um yeah very interesting if you're on multiple dating apps this person could try to match with you on one of those dating apps you know what i mean like they're making an account and hoping that they might find you setting their location to like where they know that you probably will be at you know what i mean they're trying to find a way to reach out to you and like bump into you they're hoping to either see you out on a night out right or swipe on you in a dating app or contact you through your, through your social media or just message you you know what i mean it depends if they know that they can't message you for some reason all right now they suddenly appreciate you now they appreciate you and they want to be more stable towards you okay they're envious of your other options as well they're envious that other people do want you they feel like you're very very abundant and they didn't see this before they didn't see how much of a, a manifester how abundant you are how you know how much of an, a soulmate you could be to them until you walked away and then when they got to see their other options they were not satisfied with their other options they kept coming back to you this person doesn't like their other options all right they keep coming back to you all right what else do they want to say let's look at my archetype cards i don't use these a lot but they can be really fun what do they want to say now what are the channel messages from their person wow they feel like you are so attractive look femme fatale guys out of this huge deck femme fatale yeah hell it's the erotic energy of the feminine opens your heart when your dependency is rejected yeah they feel like you weren't codependent on them <laughs> they feel rejected because you weren't codependent on them and now they see you as this like femme fatale they feel like you have a lot of they're even more attracted to you now detective this person i'm telling you they're secretly watching you <gasps> they're definitely watching you from afar they're acting like they're not but they are this person this person if they know about tarot readings they could even be getting tarot readings on you you know what i mean we have visionary now they see you as somebody who has a lot of vision and drive for your life okay maybe they underestimated you before um and they feel like you were more of a dreamer but now they see that you're really making your dreams come into reality they could believe that you have some kind of like a psychic power, all right? They want to say that they know they sabotaged the connection and that it was unfair. They want to say that now they have a new vision for the connection with you and they're waiting for a sign that it's like okay to come in and talk to you. They feel like you're going to judge them, which, you know, maybe you should, right? But yeah, they feel like you're going to judge them, all right? very 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 interesting mm. let's see what we can get here of my kipper fortune telling deck what's going to happen next in the connection what'll happen next despair Pfft, lol they're still in despair though they're still very sad oh, whatever happened i feel like they're only going to continue to get more upset to be honest as they see you grow in your power gift this person is seeing you being gifted by the universe i can definitely see that this is there the more that you're being gifted the more that they're realizing that they fumbled all right they can see that you're being gifted they think that you're not going to rule in their favor with this courthouse card they think that if you come back if they come back that you're you're not gonna like you're not gonna be happy with them yeah adjudication exactly they feel like you're just gonna rule not in their favor judge courthouse adjudication this person could be getting negative karma behind the scenes meanwhile you're getting positive karma they say that you're coming into unexpected income oh my god but they feel imprisoned look at that oh my not a coming out run to despair as in this person is in despair this person feels kind of trapped by what happened by some guilt this is just kind of like mm, some karma for them you know what i mean they could be looking like pale right now paler I'm seeing paler in the cards. Like they, they look like they've seen like a ghost almost. I feel like your spirit guides could be like messing with this person because they did you dirty in some way. They could be having some trouble sleeping. Some of them are having car troubles. 
some of them are having um troubles with food you know god forbid but they could be like burning their food um their food isn't coming out as good as it used to be some of them could have gotten like a cold and their all their food tastes bad all right all this is like karma some of them could have gotten um like a breakout on their face like they could have gotten like some pimples some acne i'm hearing specifically it's the car it's the part that like it's the kind of acne that like hurts <laughs> this is so sad i feel bad for the moment <laughs> i mean i guess i shouldn't i'm on your I'm, I'm team you i'm team you but yeah i mean this person i mean sorry spirit is kind of like putting this person in a place where they have to think about what happened I'm hearing this was the last straw. Like they had the chance to do right by you, but they really just chose not to. This is all to help them like grow. But anyway, um, yeah, high honor underneath this. Woo, you're being rewarded though. You're gonna be rewarded in the near future. I don't really see you guys like getting back together. If anything, I see that they they might take an attempt, but you're gonna judge them harshly. Like you're not gonna have it. And you're going to continue to get blessed. You're going to get blessed with higher honor at your workplace. So this could be a raise, could be a promotion. For my peace with social media presences, this could be, um, you know, more followers. Um, this could be more, you know, more supporters. I don't say followers, really. I really just say supporters. Um, you know, for like TikTok, right? Followers or like YouTube subscribers, right? Whatever, you know, more supporters. If you have a social media presence, more recognition. There's more recognition coming in for you. Recognition of your hard work. So for some of you, there could be a raise or promotion coming in. I know that for a lot of people, this is around the time. If you have like um, a corporate kind of job, then this is around the time that people do their end of year reviews. So that could be going really well for you. There could be unexpected income coming in for you. There could be a bonus coming in for you. You know, something, something in regards to your work is panning out really well that you're not going to like see until later, but you're being rewarded. That's what's going to happen in the future. They're going to kind of continue to think about the situation because it's part of their karma and you're actually going to be getting rewarded by the universe. Okay, go off. What do they want to say to my OGs? What does this person want to say? I've been trying to distract myself from my feelings. If that ain't the truth. I keep writing and deleting messages. Confirmation, didn't we get that earlier from my white and yellow deck? Yeah, I keep writing and deleting messages. What do they want to say? They are not you. Yeah, if they put you in a third party or they looking at other options, that didn't work out. Grass was not greener. I'm like afraid it's gonna like jump into the flames. Oh my God. Okay, you feel my creativity. This person, even though they're kind of going through it, like they still feel this creative energy from whatever happened. Like it's making them think about life very differently. If that makes sense. I miss you. What do they want to say? I've been thinking about you a lot. If I can't have you, nobody else can. This person's highly jealous. Highly jealous. And I feel connected to you. This person, uh, this person could feel a spiritual connection with with you. And it was have you hurt my feelings. So the way that you walked away, yeah, the way you moved on, it did hurt their feelings. And now they're, they're scared that there's too much competition around you that you wouldn't accept them if they were to come back because now, now you're in competition, okay? All right, guys, that is what I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching till the very end of the reading. And thank you for being subscribed to my channel. I really, really appreciate you so much. I had an awesome time doing this reading today. If you guys resonated with it, let me know what resonated down in the comments. I love to read your comments, love to respond. Um, yeah, just thank you so much for um, clicking on the video today. And I will talk to you in the next one. Love and light. Bye.